Our lecture is about Safailem Unirimia. Uni means single, Rimia means branch. So Safailem Unirimia includes all arthropods with unbranched appendages. Insects and Myriapoda are examples of Unirimea, which belongs to phylum Arthropod. Subphylum Unirimea. At the end of this lecture, you should be able to classify Subphylum Unirimea and describe the habitat of it. Enumerate the specific characters of Unirimeans. Distinguish between the classes and orders of this subphylum. Describe the external feature of some myriapod animals. Draw the different system of Scolobendra. Compare between similarities and differences between kilopod and diplopod. Subphylum Unirimea. The phylum Unirimea includes all arthropods with number one single pair of antenna, zug واحد من كرون الاستشعار, and branched appendages, زوائد غير متفرعة, jaws for cook, externally segmented body, mostly terrestrial with straight gut. They have two or three pairs of mouse parts, breathe through trachea, opening via lateral spiracles, secretion through malpigian tubules. Class Myriapoda Nearly 13,000 species of arthropod are classified in Myriapoda. What is the meaning of Myriapoda? It is an animal with many legs. Many legs. All myriapods are mandibulata, have appendages with only one branch or ramus. Its body is elongated with numerous segmentation, terrestrial forms, breathe using trachea with segmentally arranged spiracles. Secrete by malpigian tubules associated with hind gut. Live in humid environments and can be found in soils, in leaves, litters, or under stones and wood. Many species possess stink glands, which secrete fluids to protect the animal from enemies. Finally, sexes are separate. We have male and female. Now, with class Myriapoda. Class Myriapoda belongs to subphylum Unirimea. Class Myriapoda means animals with many legs. We will divide class Myriapoda according to the position of or the situation of the genital opening into two subclasses. Subclass number one, Progenita, in which genital openings are situated near the anterior end of the body. While the other subclass is Obisogenita, genital openings are situated near the posterior end of the body. We will take order Diploboda from Progenita. Diploboda means each segment pierces two pairs of legs, two pairs of legs, while order Kilopoda, each segment pairs only one pair of legs, one pair of legs. The example of Diploboda is Ayulas, Ayulas, why is the example of Kilopoda is Scolopendra. Scolopendra, number 44. Subclass Obisogenita 
in which the genital opening is situated near the posterior end of the body. Our example is Scolabendra, which belongs to order Kilopoda, Meawiet al Argol. Scolabendra or Om Arba Arbain. The body is divided into head and long trunk, segmented trunk. Each segment attached to one pair of appendages. One pair of appendages. Trunk pairs 21 appendages and with antenna it forms 22 pairs of appendages, means 44 legs. أسباب تسنية الشخصية المروعة بأم 44 لأن إحنا لو نحزنا إن الجزء الأخير من الزوائد بيستطيل وبيمتد إلى الخلف وبيدي شكل الأنتنة فلو حاولنا إن إحنا نمسك بالحيوان فبنصعب علينا تحديد الراس من الجزء الخلفي فممكن نمسك الجزء الخلفي على إن هو الهيد فبتقوم السكولوبندرا بلدغ الضحية عن طريق مخلب السم عشان كده دايما لما أي شخصية بتكون غامضة أو مروعة بيقولوا عليها أم أربعة وأربعين سبكلاس وبيسو جينيتا أردر كيلو بودا هنقول إيه هي الجنرال كاركترز أوف كيلو بودا وإحنا اتعرضنا لبعض الكاركترز من قبل كده من الكاركترز اللي إحنا ذكرناها إن البادي دورسو فينترال فلاتن مضغوط من أعلى الأسفل الهيد بيرز جوينتد سيجمنتد أنتن وان بير أوف سيجمنتد أنتن it has a pair of mandibles لحي it has two pairs of maxillae فكوك one pair of legs bear body segment K poison's claw are present والبويسن كلو هنا ده عبارة عن مخلب لي السم أو موجود عندنا في الرسمة هي أو الصورة ده بيكون مخلب سم بيكون محمول على العقلة الأولانية من الجسم وبيكون متجه للأمام وبيحيط بالرأس بيتجه للأمام وبيحيط بالرأس جينيتال أوبنينج وي سيد بيفور أت ذا هايند إند أوف ذا بادي كارنيفورس بتأكل لحميات أو ميت إيتر والإكزامبل زي ما قلنا أمه 44 أو سكولبندرا أدي هنا لو إحنا شفنا حتى الصورة هنا شايفين دون الجزء الخلفي ودون الجزء الأمامي إلى حد ما هي عاملة الاثنين شكل بعض عشان يبقى صعب على أي كائن إن هو يقدر يحدد وهي بتحمي كده مخلب السم بتاعها أو بتداريه علشان يبقى في معزل على إن تقدر إن هي بعد كده تمسك به الفريسة The mouse parts The mouse parts are labrum lies anterior to the mouse then followed by mandibles has sharp teeth after mandibles we have the first maxillae fused together at the base maxillae second maxillae attached also as its base and carry on each side a three jointed bulb three jointed bulb here the three jointed bulb for the second maxillae and here this is the first maxilla or maxillae and here is the labrum what about the last part this last part is belongs to the first segment of the trunk but completes the work of the mouse parts it has a poison's claw this one is the poison's claw at its tip the poison's gland is open
Now we will discuss different systems of Sculpendra, starting by digestive system. Digestive system is very simple. Alimentary canals, starting from mouth to anus, it divided into long, foregut, short, midgut, and hindgut. The stomodium or the foregut starts with the buccal cavity, followed by pharynx, esophagus, and long crop, then gizzard, which take S shape. Two pairs of salivary glands open on stomodium. The mesenteron is a simple tube, as we said before. The proctodium or the hindgut is short and opens by the anus on the last segment of the body. Centipedes are carnivores, meat eater. They use its venom to kill their prey. Venom comes from glands that open on the tip of the poison's claw. Venom is a mix of proteins. Animals use it to kill or paralyze their prey. Small children should be aware from centipede. Now excretion. Scolopendra excrete through a pair of long, delicate tubules, which open at the junction between mesentra or the midgut and the hindgut. They extend posteriorly for a short distance, then turns forwards and proceed in a zigzag fashion on both sides of the whole length of the alimentary canal of the alimentary canal. Reproductive system of Scolobendra. Sexes are separate. We have male and female. The female reproductive system, composed of single ovary, extends on the dorsal side of the gut. The ovary extends posteriorly into straight oviduct. The oviduct split two paths around the rectum into two canals. The split oviduct receives accessory genital glands. Then the oviduct open ventrally in a common single median genital opening. While the male reproductive system is composed of a single testis, lies also dorsal to the gut. The testis is formed of from eight to nine spindle shaped tubules. These tubules are connected to form medium vast difference. Median vast difference. The vas difference divided into two canals or ducts, which pass downwards around also the rectum and open on the last segment by genital opening. By genital opening, the divided ducts receive on each side long vesicular seminales and accessory glands. Life cycle of Scolopendra. After laying eggs, centipede mother wrap, wraps her body around her offspring to protect them. The hatched spring don't have all their legs or body segment, gain missing legs and segment by molting. And this is the life cycle. Starting is eggs, nymph, molt, Individuals, molting, eat, grow, and reach to the adult form, looks like the mother. Subclass number two, Virgonita, in which genital openings are situated near the anterior end of the body. Order Diplopoda. In this order, each segment has two pairs of Appendages. 
the body composed of three parts head thorax and abdomen order diploboda in which two pairs of legs bear segment we call it also millipeds ذوات الالف رجل ودي بنفرقها بين بينها وبين سكربندرا سنتيبيتس اللي هي مئوية الأرجل ذوات الألف رجل have a somewhat cylindrical body with 11 to 90 segments which are really fused double segments two pairs of legs per segment millipeds are slow moving and herbivorous by nature eating decaying leaves and wood playing a vital role in the cycling of matter, energy, and nutrients. They love poisons, fangs, and instead repel predators with volatile poisons produced by smell glands. Our example from Lip Buddha is Iulus species. Iulus, it is very common, millipede, lives in humid dark places, ruled up under stones or leaves, Feeding on vegetable matter may also burrow into the soil to feed on the roots of living plants. The external features or morphology of Iulus. The body is cylindrical, brown in color. The head is small and covered by cephalic shield. Carries pair of short antennae. Two clumps of ocelli. The thorax is composed of four segments, each carrying one pair of appendages. The abdomen is formed of many segments. Each segment has pair of legs and pairs of stigmata. Now. Compare between scolopendra and iulus or compare between millipid and centipede. Thank you. Thank you.